Hi, it's Carmen Chamas. I'm your astrologer. I'm going to talk about Tuesday, the 18th of June. Today, it's a relaxing day compared to the past three days after the full moon in um, Sagittarius passed. And maybe it was a storm for some of your signs, some of you. However, let's talk about today and check the uh, the signs. Let's see what uh, what the forecast is for today. Aries with the moon in uh, Capricorn and the sun in Gemini. You may feel a little bit um, uh, edgy or a little bit um, um, alert, watchful, because you know there is something important waiting for you today. Uh, some of you, Aries, may have uh, an important appointment, you may have an interview, or you may really want to apply for something important like a loan or you're meeting somebody in authority. It can be a little bit, uh, uh, you can be a little bit uh, moody today, but it's not a big deal. So just take it easy. Just do what you have to do. Um, you can be lucky if you're born on the 9th or the 10th of April and you can be a bit tired if you're born on the 11th, 10th or the 13th of uh, April. I move on, on to Taurus. Taurus, this is a very nice day. It's um, a relaxing day after you, maybe after the, all, all the past five or six days. Uh, they were a bit tough on you, on your nerves. Today, it's a lot better. Today, it's... Um, it's um, it's heaven compared to the past week. Today is a day where you can really spread your wings and reach out to others and, 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 and dream a little bit and really make a wish and the wish may come true. It's a good day. You really need to do your best. You really need to give it a try. So on such a good day, don't just sit and, and cross your hands and uh, arms and, and sit and wait. You really need to be doing something. You can be quite lucky if you're born on the 9th, 10th, 13th or the 14th of, of May. We move on to Gemini after the um, full moon yesterday, Sunday and even Saturday. Um, today it's a bit... Um, uh, it's a bit calmer. Today it's uh, a bit um, easier for you. Today it's uh, a day that interacts with you. People can really talk to you. You can really understand what they're saying. Uh, so it's you're calm. You're easy to 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 deal to deal with, and uh, you may understand some issues that. Um, has have to be clarified. It can be papers, legal papers. It can be like um, insurance papers. It can be maybe uh, some tax papers. Uh, maybe you're dealing with some medical issues. So today there's a start for something and you really need to pay your debts if you have some. Because Venus is in your sign, you can be quite lucky if you're born on the 2nd or the 3rd of June. We move on to Cancer. Cancer, this is one of those days, long days, where, which can give you a headache, actually. Um, today, it's, um, it's a busy day and it's a very exhausting day. It's a depleting day. I'm giving you the worst picture so you would know what to do. And you may have to prepare a plan B. Things may go wrong or things may escalate, so you really need to keep them, everything, keep your day actually under control, especially if you're born on the, on the 13th, 14th or the 15th of July, you really need to be careful and drive slowly. I move on to Leo. Leo, after the beautiful vibes of the past three days, today it's, 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 it's a bit different, but it's not negative. Today is a day where you really need to uh, uh, plan your day ahead, two days, three days, four days, whatever is left of the of this week, you really need to plan. And today is a long day. And this is a day where you may really need to put some more time to put more time in. And you really need to work on your priorities. You may feel a bit tired. However, the luckiest are those born on the 11th, 12th or the 13th of August. I move on to Virgo. Virgo, the the storm of the full moon 
yesterday, Sunday and Saturday, maybe it was tough on you. Today it's a bit um, easier. Today is a day where you can feel uh, refreshed, dynamic, more dynamic, uh, easier to deal with. And uh, remember, the vibes are really positive from the moon in Capricorn. So you're quite... Um, uh, you're quite lucky. Actually, it can be a very, very lucky day. Uh, you can reach the top of your uh, ambitions, whatever you have for this month. Uh, really, it can be a great day. And there's tomorrow also, just as positive. The luckiest are those born on the 28th, 29th of August um, or between the 12th and the 16th of September. You can be quite lucky. Let's move on to Libra. Today, Libra, it's a day where you really need to sit with yourself, um, with your family, with your kids, with your colleagues in case you, 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 you have a working day. Um, it's like you really need to deal with some personal issues. These, pers these personal issues, they can be uh, related to some maybe house repairs, uh, they can be related to problems your kids have uh, or with a family, with a parent or with your spouse. It can be anything or it can be just you. It's, um, it's, uh, it's, um, it's a long day, but it's not, not negative. Why? Because the sun is in Gemini. Uh, there's like a conspiracy that whatever goes on these days, everything should go on well at the end. So don't worry, just do whatever you have to do. Finish your chores as they should be done. The luckiest are those born on the 4th, 5th, 19th or the 20th of October. We move on to Scorpio. Scorpio, you are really, really, uh, you're very, uh, you attract attention. It's because of your ideas. It's because of your smartness. It's because of your fast reflexes, how you come up with the answers when everybody is still thinking about them. So you can imagine yourself sitting in a classroom and the teacher asks a question and you're the first one to respond, to find the answer. So you have a quick mind today. This should be great if you work in, if you're a writer, if you work in, if you're a journalist, if you're a teacher, if you're a student, if you're a lawyer or whatever. So this is a very dynamic day, uh, physically and mentally. The luckiest are those born on the 13th, 14th or the 15th of November. I move on to Sagittarius. Sagittarius with the moon in, the, uh, in your house of money, possessions, uh, richness and, um, and wealth. So today maybe uh, Sagittarius needs to think about what he owes to others. Maybe you owe them money, favors. Maybe they owe you. So it's like... Uh, uh, paying your debts and asking for uh, others to help you out. Uh, today can be a day where you sign a contract. So I think today is a perfect day to sort these things out. And today is a good day to go to your meetings. You can negotiate and you are quite smart, except that you really need to uh, think twice before you get into an investment. Because Jupiter is in a retrograde motion, you really need to be careful if you're born on the 10th and the 12th, between the 10th and the 12th of December. Although you are lucky, however, you really need to think twice before you jump into a big investment. I move on to Capricorn. Capricorn with the moon in your sign, there's nobody stronger than you, definitely. With the sun in Gemini, there's no problem with whatever you do, except that you really need to start some uh, a new routine. Definitely, you, you need a, a new style, a new way, modus oper operandi, uh, MO. It's like something needs to be changed. You really need to introduce something new to your life, to your style, to your work, to the way you, uh, to the way you, 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 you walk, to the way you, you, you write, the way you deal with, with, with people. It's, um, it's a good day. Things will, uh, sort in, uh, sort in itself, th uh, themselves up and uh, out and I think that you can do a great deal. You can get some answers today. It's either today or tomorrow. 
maybe related to work, maybe related to something you're working on. There's uh, a mission you want to do. So there is something new waiting for you. It's a new chapter. The luckiest are those born on the 27th or the 28th of December. I move on to Aquarius. Aquarius, you can expect a slow day. You can expect um, um, a slow day where things don't turn out as expected. You may feel a bit disappointed. You wish things were different, but maybe it's a time to just sit and wait for some better vibes. Uh, till Thursday actually till the moon reaches your sign so today is a day where things toll you may not you may even uh, miss your train you may even miss your your appointment um, so watch out from misunderstandings and watch out from uh, um, heavy traffic also you can be a bit lucky if you're born on the 31st of January 1st and the 15th of uh, February. I move on to Pisces after the storms of the full moon, full moon storms in the past three days. Today it's, it's more peaceful. Today is a day where you can enjoy time with yourself, with family, with friends, with colleagues. Today is a day where you can enjoy some grounding. You really need to ground yourself. You really need to get in touch with people you love, with people who make you laugh, with people who entertain you, and with people who really understand what what you feel or uh, what you what you want. However, don't expect a lot from others. What you have to do is uh, uh, is concentrate on sorting out any problem that happened or took place in the past three days especially if you're born on the 9th or the 10th of March. So this is it for Tuesday, the 18th of June. Every single day, watch and follow me on YouTube. Um, every day around 3, you know, 3 p.m. Universal Time, I upload the daily videos. I wish you all the best. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.